Hmm. What's up, guys? Welcome to another round of Upgrade Crazy FFA on Vibu Forest. This, once again, is the Legacy of the Void version. It's all fixed now. Uh, last game and this game now. It's all fixed by our boy Soupcatcher, the beast, the super dude who's going to be playing on Sunday. Uh, and guys, here, here we go, boy. We got a new round of players. Uh, I think there's a couple people in here we've seen before and a couple new faces once again. Spawning in top right, we have our green Terran player. He's actually a friend of mine that I've known for a very long time. This uh, this dude, XSR, he's a... Uh, he goes by the name of Rob in my stream. He's someone I met in WoW Classic Original. The, the one back in 2004. I also met him in Warcraft 3. He's always been my, uh, my, uh, I was going to call him my rival, but it can't be much of a rival if you always beat him. He is Rob. In top middle, we have our black Zerg and Nemesis. Return <laughs> Returning combatant. <laughs> In top left, we have our pink Protoss, Wilbur. <laughs> In middle left, we have a purple Zerg, Neo Satori, going crazy on the gas right now. <coughs> In bottom left, we have our pink Protoss, Ninja Dowgy, going for a fast expand. Jimbo in bottom middle, coming in hot. I think this is Jimbo's first time in here. Uh, and in bottom right, we have Mr. Fury, the man who last game ended up losing early and got a little salty. <laughs> He's back again. And John Rocks in middle right as the orange Protoss with a fast Nexus behind the main. Boys, those are, those are our lineup. And uh, yeah, Rob, Rob's, or XSR, he's actually been a friend of mine, seriously, for like the last 20 years. I've known him forever. Uh, since Warcraft 3 days. Anyone out there who's a Warcraft 3 vet, here's some fun facts for you, okay? I was this guy in Warcraft 3, and XSR was this guy. If anyone remembers either one of those names from Warcraft 3, on US West, on Lordaeron, that was who the two of us were. He's, uh, he's been a buddy of mine for a very long time. Okay. Okay, dude. We got a few fast expands. Oh, we got some action already. Actually, uh, Ninja Doggy saying, you know what? Fuck Zerg. Neo Satori, get out of my natural. I mean, your natural, which is going to be mine. <coughs> oh, baby. Uh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Just get, he, uh, he's backing off. He's just kind of poking around, scouting a bit. Uh, John Rocks, looking like he's taking a forge with some gates, chilling. Got a zealot sitting there, uh, having a cigarette. We got Wilbur with uh, the fro forward nexus to wall in the base a little bit with some forges behind it. Triple forge, to be fair. Uh, that's a lot of forge action. Lots of droning happening. Also, I really like, uh, shout out once again to Soupcatcher for updating this mod to Legacy of the Void version because the 12 worker start as opposed to the 6 worker start from Heart of the Swarm which is what it used to be. It's so much faster. I feel like the game gets to the point where it is now, like twice as fast. So sh much love, Soupcatcher. Thank you, man, for the update. Okay, we got Neo Satori saying, oh, hey, yo, Ninja Doggy, remember me? I'm the fucking Zerg's hatchery you shot two times. Yeah, here comes my Ling cock. And he does kill a few probes. He kills one stalker, but all the Lings do die. And that might've just pissed off Ninja Doggy, dude. I don't, I don't think he wants to lose his probes. And this guy is pretty scary, so... Is Neo Satori gonna possibly have just killed himself? Lots more links coming out. That's a lot of links. How about link speed? Is that... Oh, it's almost done? Okay, these stalkers have some, uh... Gotta be careful. There's actually not enough links yet to really take this fight. But if the, if the links kind of build up here, these stalkers are kind of gonna be in a bit of trouble. They do have blink already, though. Which is good for Ninja Doggy. Or do they? Are they blink? Yeah, they do. Okay, I was about to say. <clears throat> okay, so Ninja Doggy actually making great use of his blink and thinning out the army of Neo Satori. Neo Satori, guys, might have just screwed himself. He might just be bleeding out his lings a little too fast. And he might never be able to amass enough to beat Neo Satori because we have a 45 supply Neo Satori versus a 26 supply. Uh, sorry, 26 supply Neo Satori versus a 
40, now 54 supply ninja doggy. This blink is destroying these zerglings. They all engage and they just kill the shields and then they all die. Now the, the soccer count keeps growing. I think Neil's story might be dead already, guys. Meanwhile, we have a Fury Oracle going into the base of John Rocks. Not doing too much, I don't think. Uh, still a ton of probes here, so no, nothing really dying. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure Neil's story's dead, guys. He's looking like he's gone already. Uh, yep. Okay. So, yeah, man, Zerg getting, uh, the only, Z or actually, just kidding, there's two Zergs, so we're going to still have a little bit of Zerg representation from Nemesis, but Neil Satori better do some cockroachy tactics soon, otherwise he's going to die. I don't see how he can hold this. Currently on 18 supply versus a 61 supply of Ninja Doggy, and everyone else kind of just chilling, doing their own thing. Uh, everyone's just building up. Oh, here we go. Wilbur actually deciding to now attack Ninja Doggy's expansion. This might cause him to pull back. <clears throat> Ninja Doggy actually taking the expansion of Neo Satori. Wilbur is saying, you know what? I'll back off. And the drones are currently fleeing for Neo Satori, but they're fleeing into more Stalkers. Stalkers are Neo Satori's least favorite unit right now. They're everywhere, and they're killing drones all day. Okay, Neil Satori might actually build hatcheries in the middle of the map where no minerals are, exist, but maybe no one will come here for a long time. He's running to the right. Where is he going? He's engaging more Protoss. This poor Zerg can't catch a break. Everywhere he goes, he runs into more Protoss. Oh, he finally finds a Terran ally. But, or is it? Is this Jim Raider? Is this Kerrigan? I don't know. Oh, here we go. He sees, oh, there we go. There's a, there's a like-minded Zerg. Only to be meet, met by some Hydras. And Neo Satori not having a good day right now. Will this hatch... Is it, is it seen? He does see... Okay, so Ninja Doggy does see this. Maybe he's going to be nice to Neo Satori. Maybe he wants to be a little bit nice. He is uh, currently setting up shop in the main base now as well with the probe. And Ninja... Oh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. These stalkers just went up here. Maybe they'll come down here and finish it off. The expansion for Ninja Doggy once again getting denied by Wilbur. All right, boys. Uh, looks like Ninja Doggy is like, I. You live for now, Zerg. Oh, I, oh, yo, oh, dude. There's only one drone. There's 47 minerals. He's got to be careful. If that one drone dies, Neo Satori is legit out of this game essentially because he has no way to make money. Anyways, we got a lot of stock. We got 103 supply for Ninja Doggy versus a 78 supply for Wilbur. Ninja Doggy having level two weapons. Wilbur having one, one, one of all three. Uh. And that's too many stalkers, man. These Archons and everything else just going down like crazy fast. The blink will be real probably on that last Archon. Not even. And Wilbur. Oh, boy. Might have just uh, overstepped a little bit as well. Ninja Doggy about to now possibly eliminate two players in this game. Wilbur dropped down to 40 supply. And Ninja Doggy taking the expansion of Neo Satori. Okay, dude. Neo Satori trying to make any make ends meet over here, paycheck to paycheck with these drones. And uh, yeah, there's not really enough units here for Wilbur to survive this, but the real question is, is Ninja Doggy going to kill him or is he going to back off? Nobody else is really doing much. There's one Hydra running into a planetary. Not really that that Hydra was uh, Leroy jenkins that shit, but he's gone. Everyone else kind of just making Static D, chilling, doing their own thing, not really deciding to push out. My like, God, that's a scary army. Just mass battlecruisers with tons of armories. PFs in the back. Oh my, he's prepared for the back doors. These are basically the Terran butt plugs. They're protecting him. Okay, we got Wilbur getting a bit of the uh, the pity uh, from Ninja Doggy. Ninja Doggy actually deciding to pull back and. Um, Okay, a bunch of a bunch of Wilbur probes. Oh my God, the second evacuation of the workers in this game, running into death all over again. And you know, Wilbur, he's still okay. He's still stabilized. But if either player around him decides to kill him, he will be fucked. He needs to just kind of like sit back and relax, like close the closet door and like lean away from it, like hide, dude. No one knows you exist. Yeah, we got a bunch of Hydras versus a bunch of Marines and Medivacs. The concave is real for those Marines. These Hydras not taking the best fight. The, the hatchery blocking half of their, their concave. And uh, But there is just a lot of Hydra. 158 supply of Hydra versus 108 supply of Marines. So definitely a massive supply advantage for the, for the Zerg there. 
And now Ninja Doggy actually just running all over another player. My god. Can this man be stopped? Remember that army I said was scary? Guess what? It just got blunked on and now it's dead. All the upgrades getting killed before it really takes effect. Every battle is already dead. There we go. Some more new ones popped out. And uh, he's uh, still only 2 2, so all those upgrades got denied before th they finished. And uh, yeah, it's just this, the story of supply here. We got another fight going on up here. Uh, Lurkers now. Oh my god. There you go. XSR's got to be careful. Lurker Hydra versus Marine. Not going to go too well for Marine, boys. Even though these things have 8 weapon upgrades, those Lurkers are real. Will it be enough, though? 8 weapon upgrades. Maybe it's not a joke. Oh my god. These bio units just fucking don't even care. Killing every single Zerg unit in the area, and now the na the natural of Nemesis is just getting destroyed. Uh, dude, that was actually I did, did not expect that. I thought the Lurkers were gonna win that fight. Okay, now uh, Marines and like uh, enough medevacs to blot out the sun, deciding to push even further. And uh, there's just not enough. Okay, deciding to pull back. XSR is gonna play it a little bit safe. Oh, he's getting attacked by another uh, John Rocks. With something to say here. Fuck that planetary! Deciding not to push further. He just white hates planetary fortresses. Pulls back. How's how's Neo Satori doing? Currently trying to kill some rocks, but you know where these rocks lead to? More ninja doggy. And guess what? More ninja doggy. So Neo Satori is stuck between a ninja and a doggy right now. Not looking too good for him. Okay, we have some carrier tempest sky toss action coming out of fury. Jumping all over John Rocks. John Rocks not with enough really on the ground here to, to deal with it. But now we got another army. Yo, Fury getting double teamed right now. And pulling back half of his army, leaving half to fight. The Archon might be a little bit of a mistake though because these carriers are kind of depleted. There we go. Pulls back. Another fight in the top middle. Bio once again. This time there's uh, there's plenty. There's enough. This is... Uh, uh, I was going to say Raiders, Raiders, but... I wanna, oh, they're really, they're, they're better than Raiders Raiders. These are Rico's Roughnecks, guys. They got 17 fucking weapon upgrades. They're killing bugs. And they're killing them quick. Oh my god. Everything dying for Nemesis. And Nemesis doesn't even say a word. He just realizes there's a lot of guns here. And uh, he's fucking dead. Okay, so our first player eliminated is Nemesis. And now we have Fury. With a shitload of Skytoss once again pushing into John Rock's base. Ninja Doggy kind of biding his time here. Looking like he might set up on Fury's base though. <coughs> and we might have John Rock's eliminated, dude. We got 200 supply from Fury versus only 12 supply now from John Rock's. And John Rock's looking like he is probably going to be the second, second man eliminated. Meanwhile, we have Jimbo trying to remake whatever he can down here. He's starting a barracks all over again, so he's reset from the start of the game here in bottom middle and uh, XSR just kind of cleaning out the Zerg from top middle. Uh, how's, how's Wilbur doing? Huh? Let's go check in with Wilbur. He's, he got fucked up earlier in the game. He lost a bunch of probes, but he's starting to slowly recover. Back up to 70 supply. Looking like he's making a, making some headway. Meanwhile, we have uh, John Rock saying he can still witness. Maybe that Nexus will not be spotted. He does have 9,000 minerals in the bank almost. And four, oh, now he's over 9,000 because these upgrades are getting denied before they can finish. 10,000 resources and the minerals and 5,000 gas. Is Are we going to see another probe attacking a rock here? I don't know. Oh, here we go, dude. Guys, I'm not going to lie. These Marines are really well upgraded. This is 28 fucking weapon upgrades. I think this Sky Toss army is going to get obliterated. Sky Toss for, uh, for Fury right now only at 222. Not nearly enough to deal with the 28 weapon upgrades of Bio. Holy shit, dude! <laughs> that Skytos army died in seconds! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Fury! Back to the drawing board thinking, holy shit, what's wrong with those Marines? Fucking super steroids! Now the Marines now engaging the other Protoss army of Stalkers, who are currently only on 0 1 3. These Marines don't give a shit, guys! Holy god! Like, they're, they're getting roasted by Colossus, though. They don't have a lot of armor, so these Colossus are doing work. But anything these Marines look at basically just die. Another carrier just dies out of nowhere. Like, two Marines shot it and it just exploded. Uh, yeah. It's a lot of medevacs still left over, so XSR still has a lot to work with here. And, dude, his armor upgrades are about to explode. That's a fuckload of... How many armor upgrades does he have in production right now? 15 armor upgrades about to finish, guys. 15. 
15 armor upgrades on the way. And he's already at level 6. So we're going to go to level 21 armor in a second. Once he gets level 21 armor, dude, he could run these Colossus over. It's serious business. XSR looking like he's the most scary player in this game right now in terms of upgrades. Holy shit. Uh, and now Fury probably, probably not feeling that great. He was feeling good a second ago. But he just got his entire Sky Thoughts army killed by Rico's Roughnecks. And now he's getting... It, like, you know, Ninja Doggy smells him out and just decides to straight up lay on the pain when he's uh, when he's down. Basically, Fury getting kicked to the ground and then now getting kicked further into the ribs until they break entirely. Fury must not be feeling good right now. Uh, will he say anything before he's eliminated? Because he has no probes left. So this is literally it. Meanwhile, uh, we got our Neo Satori here still just chilling with two Zerglings in the bushes. Here we go. What's Fury going to say? He says, K. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> okay. With the last word, Fury eliminated. Now, Ninja Doggy deciding to move forward. These Marines are currently 1430 with another 15 upgrades still on the way. Almost done. And XSR deciding, you know what? This army's a bit scary. This is 400 supply of Stalker Colossus versus only 138 of Marine. That might actually cost XSR in the end. Just not enough supply. Uh, meanwhile, Wilbur. Wilbur's making a play. Never mind. Okay, Ninja Doggy versus XSR. 14. So, waiting for these armor upgrades to finish. A lot of them are... Uh, there we go. Some of them are kicking in. Suddenly, Marines are 21-30, guys. They just got a lot better. How's uh, Jimbo doing? Jimbo chilling. Zero units still, but going mass upgrades. He's just hoping to God he has enough time to, you know, set it off. Ninja Doggy trying to expand in his base and going, what the fuck? Terran's back? XSR trying to make his last stand. These Colossus and Stalker will not be stopped. There's just too much supply. This man had way too many expansions, way too fast. And XSR, oh my God, these Marines are just getting melted by the Colossus. Ninja Doggy basically mowing the lawn here. And XSR calling GG. Looking to be the next player eliminated. And guys, once again, this is a similar situation to yesterday where we had a Aesthetic with the top three because he already qualified. So top three advance if, Ninja, if Aesthetic was in it. Ninja Doggy has the same story here. Ninja Doggy is actually a replacement of someone who had to drop out today. And he's already qualified. So this game will actually go to top three. Uh, an XSR deciding to float in Command Center. He might make top three. Um... And right now, in the game, we still have a Ninja Doggy killing another player. Uh, killing Jimbo all over again. J poor Jimbo just taking the pain from Ninja Doggy all day. And all we got left, guys, is John Rocks, who was recently just killed, but slowly trying to make a comeback. He did say, what did he say earlier? He said, I can still win this. So he, here we go. He's, he's showing us what he's got. We got Neil Satori. We got XSR floating around with a little bit of shit up here with a DT chasing. Oh my god, Wilbur. Wilbur just laying the paint on with a fucking Dark Templar. Oh my, Wilbur's got DTs everywhere. Wilbur's all over the place with these DTs. They have five weapon upgrades, but that doesn't matter. They hit hard as it is already. And Wilbur's got 200 supply, guys. Got some disruptor action going on. This is a lot of laser giraffes here. A lot of Colossus. Level 30 weapons for Colossus now. 16 shields. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, guys. This, uh, these, these armor upgrades for the uh, Wilbur Protoss units aren't very good, so... They're going to evaporate pretty quick. Supply now for Wilbur. Dropping down to 60 and, and dropping fast. Now down to 30. Down to 20. And meanwhile, Ninja Doggy is still maintaining a 360 supply situation here. Total army supply values for everyone is... Our second highest is now uh, John Rock sitting at 110. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I think this might be over. I think this game is probably going to go to Ninja Doggy. He, uh, this is this is the scary thing about this free-for-all. If you kill someone early and you take their expansions, you just get so much fucking money. And you get this big-ass army so quickly. Uh, it, it's kind of a gamble, though, because what if you attack someone early and they don't die and you both just kind of weaken each other because you keep killing each other? You know, It's a bit of a double-edged sword if it doesn't go your way. But this, t this time, this game, Ninja Doggy did have his way because he did eliminate poor Neo Satori, who's still in the game, but doing literally nothing because he's, he's like, I don't want to piss him off. I want to get top three. 
And Ninja Doggy has completely eliminated. This is the last building for Wilbur right here. Wilbur! All right, guys. Now, we, who do we got left? We got Jimbo. We got Ninja Doggy. We got Neo Satori. We got John Rocks. And we got XSR. So we got what? Five, was that five players? Three players eliminated already? Uh, who's next? Jimbo hiding. Oh, Jimbo. What if Jimbo? Oh, shit. Never mind. Ninja Doggy moving into XSR's base. XSR, I honestly, I would say, is the second biggest threat. If he was able to get back up and going again. 30 30 bio is no joke. You're. If, like, that bio got in the base, it could just kill everything. Oh my god, look at these shield upgrades, guys. These probes take so long to die. They just don't die. <laughs> oh my god, these battle cruisers, they're shooting duds. They're shooting duds. They can't kill anything. Okay, Ninja Doggy fully wiped out XSR's base all over again. XSR being forced to float in the, into the abyss. Another base of XSR once again being killed. Having to just float away all over again. This command center might make it out. I don't know. The stalkers are right here. They're on They're on a shift command though. So he's, he's doing some other shit too. I guess he's killing other people at the same time. Getting annoyed by the battle cruisers that literally tickle the pylon and tickle anything with shields. Just so you guys know, these battle cruisers to ground do like 10 damage a shot. And he has 30 shields. So... Lots of armor. Okay, the big, the last big battle of the game here. We got Void Ray on Stalker Violence. But once again, the upgrades for the Void Ray are literally 0 2 1 versus 30 30 Stalkers uh, with shield. So it's just not enough, man. These Stalkers take no damage. It, once you get to this point where your opponent just out upgrades you, you have no chance. We still have an expansion for John Rocks. So this game is actually just kind of over now in terms of like who's going to contest Ninja Doggy. But it really comes down to who's gonna get top three. So we have a little bit of a a little bit of a base here for John. John Rocks might have even tap out. He's calling GG. I don't know, dude. Top three advance. Top three still advance. <clears throat> oh, Ninja Doggy actually killing some of his own units now. Knowing that he's secured the map, actually probably getting ready to make some Stargates. So he can go into a air killing army. That's a lot of armor upgrades, guys. 28 armor upgrades at once for Ninja Doggy. Holy shit. And now he's going Stargate. More Stalkers finding yet another base of XSR. The Jimbo SCV Pow Wow. Hoping to God no one finds them. They're hiding in like a cave over here. Two battle cruisers in a command center. Hiding over the over the abyss, over the openness of trees. What is going on? What the fuck? Is Jawas? Andini! Andini! The fuck is this? These guys are having a party, dude! I see why. Yo, uh, uh, Ewoks, yeah, sorry. Uh, Jimbo. Kind of hanging out with the Ewoks right now. Okay. I see why his command center's over here. He's just chilling. Is that a gun? Are these guns? Oh, that's a fucking Marine. Dude, they're. They're fucking eating a marine! They're cooking a marine! They're cooking a man! Holy shit! Oh my god! They're not friendly, they're hostile! <laughs> okay, Fury. He's already dead, but he's just getting further killed at this point. Uh, Ninja Doggy. Actually, John Rocks looks like he left the game as well. I think he's out. Or I don't see him in the game anymore. Uh, I didn't see him leave, but his base is all dim lit, so that means he actually left the game. So now, is this it? Is this top three? The Zerg died. Uh, sorry, I was too busy looking at that shit. I didn't pay attention to everyone who died. I think we're on top three, guys. XSR and Jimbo taking top three with Ninja Doggy. And the the man-eating Ewoks. <laughs> cook him, cook him, eat him. Ah. Is it top four? Who the fuck is the fourth guy? Where's where, where's number four? You tell me where number four is. Orange? Orange is not in the game. Uh, he's he's fogged out, so he's gone. See how it's all? See, look at the mini map. See how it's all lit up. He's fogged out, so he's uh, he's he's left the game. 
So yeah, it's uh, our two Terran players, Jimbo and XSR, qualify. Now it's really to see who's going to get first place. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, XSR making a bunch of Marauders. But the only thing that sucks about that is, is Ninja Doggy's already switching over to Void Rays. So yeah, there might be a big Marauder army that might somehow actually overpower the Stalker Colossus that did exist before. But what's he going to do about Void Rays? He better start making some Marines soon. Now suddenly Marines would have been a great choice against the Void Ray transition of uh, Ninja Doggy. But will he have... The big question is, is, is he going to have enough time? Like, look how he's mining minerals. He's so afraid of Ninja Doggy that he's mining from the side of the mineral line. He's actually mining from the center of this one, but Ninja Doggy, once again, is on the hunt looking for... Uh, I mean, if Ninja Doggy actually spends a lot of time looking for the other Terran player floating around, it doesn't seem like he's going to spend too much time, though. You know, Jim, unfortunately for Jimbo, he's, like, right here. The first place the Voids are going to go to is right where the Command Center is located. Poor Jimbo's going to get killed quick. Jimbo's out, boys. We have a top two situation. Will the Marauders be enough? The Colossus saying, F you, kills like two SCVs and then runs away. Another Colossus going to pop an SCV and run away. These boys are on aim they're on a, like a shift command. And right now, Ninja Doggy's... Oh, there we go. He's, he notices. Can the Marauders do it? Oh, shit, dude. Oh, almost. To be fair, that's that was like 20 supply for XSR versus still like eight Colossus or something. All right, well, guys, that's going to that's gonna do it. We got uh, a bunch of, uh, yeah, I was to say, every base is dying now for XSR. And there you have it, boys. Ninja Doggy taking the W, but since he's already qualified, top two or top three now will advance, which again, it means Jimbo and XSR qualify to Sunday. And, but still, Ninja Doggy secures himself 20 Vibu Coins. Thank you for playing, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the me Mega Big Grand Slam Sunday showdown uh, of all the culmination of all of it. So until then, take it easy. Much love. I'll see you guys then. Peace.